Hi, welcome to the section dedicated to software installation and configuration. In this section, I'll tell you what you need to install and how you need to perform initial setup of different programs. And it doesn't matter whether you are a total beginner or advanced senior full stack developer, I would like to ask you to install all those programs in order to successfully follow me during this course and in order to be able to successfully complete all challenges. Let's start with quick overview. First, you need to install code editor. And in this course, I will use Visual Studio Code. So please navigate to code.visualstudio.com and install VS Code on your computer. It is available for Mac OS, for Windows and for Linux users. Next, you need to install Node.js. Please navigate to node.js.org and install corresponding version on your computer. Again, it is available for macOS, Windows and Linux. Next, you need to install git. Please navigate to git-acm.com and install latest version of the git. Git is source control system. And you need to install git in order to be able to download and use course files. For example, you will check out different branches in git to start different challenges. Ok, next. You need to install one more program called Source3. And it is a graphical user interface for Git. And it will allow you easily switch between different branches and start different challenges or check out final versions of the code that I will write during lectures. Next. This tab is optional, but I recommend you to create account on the github.com, if you have not yet created one. Also using github account, you will be able to fork other repositories. For example, you will be able to take repositories for this course and create copies in your accounts. And of course, you will be able to follow other users of the github.com and be notified as soon as they publish new repositories. And I recommend you to follow me on the github.com. Ok, next. Next, you need, of course, terminal. And Mac OS and Linux have built-in terminals. But instead of built-in terminal on the Mac, I use iTerm2. And if you are a Mac user, I recommend you to use it as well. If you are a Windows user, I recommend you to install CMDR program. It is a portable console emulator for Windows. And it behaves almost exactly as terminal on Linux or Mac OS. Ok, that's all for software overview for this course. Please install all those programs Visual Studio Code, Node.js, Git, Source3 and register account on the GitHub. And if you are a Mac user, install iTerm2 and if you are a Windows user, install CMDR. In the next lectures, I will guide you through setup of all those programs. And we will start with Visual Studio Code. I have forgotten to mention one more program, and that is a web browser. You need to install Google Chrome for this course. Ok, see you in the next lecture. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Link to the next video in this section you will find here. Link to the playlist for this section you will find here. Also, please hit this button to subscribe. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below. See you in the next sections and lectures. Bye.